it's time to install Workstation step by step. So now let's go over to my Windows Explorer. And here's the VMware Workstation application that I downloaded from VMware.com using the evaluation. At this time, the current version, as you can see, is 9.0.2, and there's the build number right there. So to install this inside Windows 8, I'm just going to double click it. And then the VMware Workstation 9 installer begins. We'll need to answer a few simple questions here. It says, welcome to the installation wizard for VMware Workstation. Click next to begin. Here we could do a typical or a custom installation. I'm just going to choose typical because honestly, the typical installation has always worked for me. But if you want to see what custom looks like, you've got the core components, the VIX application program interface, the enhanced keyboard utility, and the Visual Studio plugin. In my case, I'm sure I'd be fine really just with the core components, but the typical installation includes the core components and the VIX application program interface. So we'll just choose typical here. Here's the default installation folder, program files, x86 VMware slash VMware Workstation. We'll take that default by clicking next. Now it asks if we want to check for product updates on startup. Of course, this is a brand new edition we just downloaded, but who knows, at some point in the near future, there may be some product updates that we want to download. So I'll just leave that checked and click Next here. Now we're asked if we want to improve VMware Workstation by sending anonymous system data and usage statistics to VMware. That's fine with me. I'm glad to help with their development efforts to make this a better product. So I'll click Next. Then we're asked where we'd like shortcuts for VMware Workstation to be located. By default, they'll go on the desktop and also in the Start Menu Programs folder. Again, we'll take the defaults and click Next. Now we're at the point of clicking Continue to begin the installation process. We'll do that. And this installation will take just a minute. As you can see, the Setup Wizard says that the installation is complete. So I'll just click Finish here. And now we can run VMware Workstation for the first time. Of course, we've got two different places we can go to do that. As you saw during the installation, shortcuts were created inside program files and then also on the desktop. I'll press the Windows Start button here. I've got lots of programs. And if I scroll over to the right here, here we have VMware Workstation. I'll just click on that. And we've run VMware Workstation for the first time. Now, you may need to enter the serial number that you got from the evaluation of VMware Workstation, or if you purchased a license, you'll also have a serial number, and you'll be prompted to enter that the first time that you run VMware Workstation. In my case, I've actually already had an installation on this computer of VMware Workstation, and the license key was cached or saved on disk, so I didn't have to re-enter that. But this is VMware Workstation. As you can see on the left-hand side, we've got our virtual machine library. Right now, we don't have any virtual machines, but we'll be adding virtual machines throughout this course. We also have a great getting started menu here that we can use to jumpstart our VMware workstation configuration by creating a new virtual machine, opening an existing virtual machine that you might have copied from someone else, or perhaps that you downloaded from the internet, connect to a remote server. For example, VMware vSphere in the data center, you could connect to that to manage those virtual machines. You could virtualize a physical computer, like your desktop computer. You could virtualize that and run it as a virtual machine inside your laptop. Edit the virtual machine network that we'll be working with during the course. Workstation preferences, software update, and help. So that's the home screen and the jumpstart menu here. Of course, across the top, you've got the traditional file edit view type options. And we'll be exploring these in future lessons, I'll be showing you all the different menu options and how they can help you to use VMware Workstation as efficiently as possible. So at this point, we successfully installed VMware Workstation. As you can see, there wasn't a lot to it. Really simple installation. 